Hey, yo, check this out, man. It's Prodigy the H and I C from the infamous Mob Deep, and right now you're checking out the B Shine. I think my first experience is like hip hop music was just like uh, laying in my bed as a kid and hearing older kids outside in the park playing the songs like. LL Cool J and like, you know, EPMD, Rakim, you know, uh, Karis One, just all the, the crazy songs from like the 80s, man. And I used to be in my room, too young to go outside, and I could hear it. I could hear it from the window, and it used to make me fiend to go outside, like, you know what I mean? It's, that's my first memories of hip hop. Probably when I heard uh, the song by LL, Rock the Bells. Like the, you know, the version with the with the cowbells in it and all that. That was crazy. When I heard that, that probably made me want to start ra rapping. That one and uh, and uh, Run DMC, Sucker MCs. Those are like the two first songs I heard. Uh, I was like, all right, this is what I want to do with myself. Um, to get known to like break into the game, we would do talent shows at like a high school. Um, we would find out the talent shows that was happening in the city because me and Havoc, we went to high school in Manhattan. And, um, you know, so we was able to network with a lot of people out here and get to the, get inside the parties and talent shows and, you know, go up to labels and get our demos heard and just stuff like that, just networking. But most importantly, just going to, like, the parties and, like, talent shows because that's where we were meeting a lot of people at, you know what I mean? Um, I think definitely Juvenile Hell, um, that album, we had a song on there called Peer Pressure and Edit from the Back, another song. Um... We had some major video play at that time, you know what I mean? Um, we would, the, the Playboy channel had actually picked up our video for Hit It From The Back, and they were playing it because it was an X-rated video, like, and uh, so they, a lot of the regular TV wouldn't play it, but the Playboy channel actually picked it up and was playing our video, so it definitely helped get people to know, like, who those kids, like, they would see us around at the parties and stuff, but uh, our videos definitely helped. Where people was like, "Yo, who are these kids right here?" You know what I mean? Or uh, um, probably when we dropped Shook Ones. You know what I mean? When we dropped Shook Ones, um, the response that we got from the world just we started getting offers to do shows like all around the world. Like you know what I mean? London, Paris, everywhere. Early, you know what I mean? Like back in 1994, 95. Like so, when we seen that, we started doing the shows like overseas early when Shook Ones first came out. We was like, wow, like, because the people in the crowd was saying every word, word for word of the song. But then after the show, we would go, you know, to meet them and shake their hand and all that. And they couldn't have a conversation with us. Like, they couldn't speak English, but they could repeat our songs. That was crazy. Like, that made us say, like, wow, music is powerful, dog. Like, you know what I mean? Um, my family always definitely supported me in what I was doing. You know, um, I come from a, like a, a show business family. So my, my father, he was in a, uh, in a doo-wop group back with doo-wop music and all that called the Channers. My mother was in a uh, doo-wop group called the Crystals. And, um, my grandfather was like big time jazz musician in the, you know, the Jazz Hall of Fame named Bud Johnson. So it's like growing up, I seen, a lot of show business from behind the scenes, like backstage and like, you know, just growing up with it. I didn't understand it when I was young, I was, but then as I got older, I was like, wow, my family, like, they come from like a real show business family. So looking back, I just seen how they supported me all, through all the years. Ever since I told them I wanted to get into music, they always pushed me and supported me for that. Just just meeting people that tell me like our music inspires them to like do good things or that our music helped them get through a tough time or something in their life. And, um, you know, just, just seeing the people that our music affects and that, like, you know, I can actually help somebody's life, you know, inspire somebody's life from just, you know, writing hip hop music. Like, that's incredible to me. Like, you know what I mean? That and just being able to travel the world, man, and just see all these people with, you know what I mean? See the different cultures and, like, how they live out there and how poverty is worldwide. It's not just, an American thing, not just in New York, like it's everywhere, like, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, it's hell. I want people to say that, you know, we did it for a very long time. Like, I want people to say Prodigy was, had a lot of longevity and a lot of consistency. Mom Deep, a lot of longevity and consistency. And, um, you know, um, I took it seriously. I took my life and my music and, and, and my brand seriously, like, you know, 
I see, I see a lot of I see a lot of people. You know, they come and they go. Maybe they came in with the wrong intentions. Maybe it just wasn't for them. But I look at my life as I'm trying to make a brand that lasts a long time. Uh,